Well, audio is going to be behind a few seconds. You know what I mean, Marvin? But, all right, let's get it. <laughs> all right, let's get it, bro. Where we at? Damn, bitch, you want to shut that shit the fuck up? Damn, what the fuck is that? Damn. Technical difficulties. All right. All right. Let's go. All right, guys. Welcome to episode 141 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. What's we appreciate on? everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button. Get yourself a little merch if you haven't done so already. And be on the lookout for Patreon, man. That shit's coming very soon, very soon, very soon. But yeah, man, we're back with another one. It's a beautiful Thursday. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? We're feeling good. Feeling good, man. Fucking beautiful Thursday. Uh, Thursday Thursdays. It was Thursday Tuesdays last time. It was Thursday Thursdays again. Yeah, right? man. How about that? Fuck I off. Haven't, I haven't fucking drank in a while. I got fucked up earlier fucking this week, man. And My dog still hasn't drank, bro. I don't yeah. know what he drank, who dropped what in his drink. <laughs> Nah, but nah. I'll tell you what, cheers, guys. Yo, cheers to that. Cheers to that. Yeah, cheers, right. to, cheers to fucking slowing down, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah. Sometimes you can't be an alcoholic every day. <laughs> <laughs> every day, you go to fucking work and shit. Day. You got to fucking live life, too. You know how everybody's doing fucking interviews now for fucking, uh, <laughs> for like, uh, because of COVID and shit? Like, they're doing job interviews through fucking Zoom. Yeah, There's yeah. There's a guy that's fucking famous for fucking having a beer in his hand and just fucking trying to get a job. And Fuck it, like, dog. I'm at home. What are you doing? I'm not on a job. <laughs> he's like, I'm. Gonna <laughs> I'm not on your time right now. I'm not getting paid for this. He's like, honestly, I like to get hammered, like dead ass serious. I like to get hammered and fucking, you know, it just boosts my confidence sometimes. Hey, and, bro, you want to come work for us? We'll let you get hammered and fucking do some. Yeah, all right? we'll real. let you do something. Yeah, all right? for real, handsome do some. Handsome do some. But now I'll tell you what, man. You know what's really fucking Vishka bargain and pisses me off is uh. The dispensaries versus the dealers, man. Oof. That shit makes me mad. You know why? Because it takes it back to the prohibition, you know, prohibition times when yeah. it came to alcohol. It's the same thing. Facts. They make it illegal. They lock everybody up for fucking doing it, for growing it or, or making it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then they go ahead and push you out the way, lock you up, take your shit, and then start the same thing you're doing, but legally. <laughs> like yeah for real and it's a monopoly bro yeah the dispensaries versus the dealers man like and I, i'm not gonna sit here and cop there's dealers that are complete fucking trash like <laughs> niggas are never on time they be skimping your fucking set 3.2 like for yeah you know. it's like come on bro your shit's sapped it's skimped and you're fucking seven hours late fucking like, maple syrup and shit yeah like, fuck, like it's just bad and i've had experiences like that but yeah. i've also had great dealers oh where yeah. i'm like i'm like wow I'm my like, brother you're a mobile dispenser yeah you're and, fucking great you're great at what you do i i thank the heavens the, the weed heavens for you being here yeah you know what i'm saying because there it's like, bro, like you, you provide quality, quantity, and it's at a cheaper price, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's like a mom and pop shit, a mom and pop shop type of type of deal. Like, bro, like I'd rather support a mom and pop shop than to go support like a fucking Popeyes or something. You know what I mean? Because it's like that's a privately owned business. It's yeah. a small business. Let them let them eat too. You know exactly. What I'm Corporations yeah. aren't the only ones that should fucking make some money. Exactly. And it's just it's a little bit more like expensive when you support other people, but you know what? Sometimes it's not though, depending on the item, you know? Like it like for guns and shit like that, like we go to a, a, a private own, right? Mm -hmm. We go to a small fucking uh, gun shop here locally. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. And Shout it's out a, to Sadie, man. Win. Oh damn. It's a little bit <laughs> <it's> a, <laughs> Nigga, we Jesus, made it. No, fact. If he Shout was a DJ, to... he would fail. <laughs> nah, bro. I'd For be real. lit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's Thursday Thursdays. You but know yeah, I mean? shout out shout out to him, man. Yeah, and bro. Only gun shop in the whole city. Yeah, bro. In the whole Fuck city, off. bro. And it's tiny, And he's bro. reeking. Man, round of applause to that, too. Bro. To the Boricuas out there. Boricua, Bobby. Bobby. Eh. Visco Bargain. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but, but that's crazy though, man. Shout out to him. Um, I bought a gun off him. I bought a Sig. Nigga, I bought a whole arsenal off so, that man. Yeah, it's a, it's a little no, that <laughs> so a, a little bit of like you know, it's a little bit more expensive, like compared to like the other fucking. Nah, Drew, that's yeah, facts. You know what I mean? But I'd rather give my money to him and support yeah, him. Man, yeah, man, he lives in the city. Yeah, like you could, like we get our haircut literally right next door to where his actual house is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he's accept, L like, like for real. I, I like, respect that type of stuff. 
Like, because he's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Like, he told me how much he's worth. I'm really not going to put his business out there. Yeah, but, but that nigga's worth a few M&Ms. Yeah, a bro. Few a few, bro. And that's So, that's for big. you to still be living in a regular house, like some Warren Buffett shit. Yeah. I salute. I'm going to support you. I'm yeah. going to support your business before I go to Gander Mountain or some shit. Because them niggas are taxing. I remember they one shut time. down. Yeah, because they were robbing people fucking blind. I remember one time <laughs> Santos went and bought a pistol there, bro, for like 800 We went to the fucking shop, like another, like a, a shop in D-Land. Yeah. Same gun, no cap for 500 What? Got his ass for an extra three. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have been pissed. Bro, that you could he do. Never, bro, he never bought another fucking gun after that. No lie. Like, he was so mad about the whole situation. He's like, bro, fuck guns. That's it's the- all a scam. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not a scam. You just gotta find the right guy. You just like an, just just like anything else. You yeah, gotta no, find the right fact. guy. You gotta find the right guy. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. We're about to get into a little bit of fucking business. We probably shouldn't be getting into. Oh shit. We're talking I'm about nervous. the right guys. They found the right guy. Who? To go and uh advocate for Larry Hoover, and that's Kanye West, man. What happened? Have you seen the video of him standing next to Jay Prince saying, Yo, Dre, come out, I invite you to a concert. You seen it? No. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. For those of y'all out there that know what I'm talking about, if you haven't seen it, go take a look. Go take a gander. What is it? And then come back. What is he doing? Uh, it's pretty much Kanye standing next to Jay Prince, and the rapper. Jay Prince is not a rapper. <laughs> he was like the first like independent label owner okay. before uh, Cash Money, before um, Master P. Oh damn! Like he's been around. Oh okay okay. So he's he's established. Yeah, but. Like that, you know when Drake talks about the mob ties, yeah, yeah. that's what he talks about. Uh, the mob ties in Houston, okay, with Jay Prince. And if you look at this video of Kanye reading off of this phone, and Jay Prince standing next to him, it kind of reminded me of like how the Taliban make a nigga read something, yeah, and they stand there. Oh shit! I'm not playing with you. Jay Prince was just like this, and Kanye's reading this. Like you can tell he didn't want to say it because he's reading it. <laughs> <laughs> Like they're like they were what like yo fam fuck? like yo oh and so I'll, he owns them no 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 bro 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 there's a there's something going on bigger than you bro we need you to to read this right here whether Ooh. you want to or not <laughs> I'm not playing like that's yo. how that I'm pretty sure that's how that went and just the body language it felt like that damn that's creepy nah yeah, bro that's listen shit, there's man. a mob out there there's, there's a mob for everything. Yeah, and then, that's no fucking cap, bro. There's a mob for everything in the music business and fucking Wall Street, all that shit. So, in my opinion, they're trying to free Larry Hoover. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know who Larry Hoover is, bro, he's doing six life sentences for be like finding. He's one of the founders of the uh, Gangster Disciples in Chicago, one of the most like dangerous fucking gangs in America. Yeah. But it wasn't like that while he was out. He knew how to organize people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's dangerous. When you know how to organize massive groups of people, the government don't really like that shit, bro. Nah. We ain't going to get too far deep the into it, but gang, the gang. government really don't like that. Nah, for real. Because we that's an army. You're building, yeah. you're building a militia. You're building a militia that's dangerous. Yeah. Especially when you're teaching them about economy and how to build your fucking economy up and how to become wealthy. Ooh. Before you know it, there's going to be a society of people that are going to be just as wealthy as the wealthy people and you don't want that because that's nah. competition yeah. you gotta cut the snake off at the head ASAP yep. you know what I'm saying and it's sad bro but that's the way that this world goes that's the way that capitalism in America goes you know what I'm saying Yeah. like the people in power ain't gonna let you get in power nah hell no you know what I mean hell no they're not gonna fucking the billionaires are not gonna tell the other people how to get rich you know what I mean like there's a current there's a fine line of like where you can cross facts yeah, They'll teach you how to get rich. They won't yeah. teach you how to get wealthy because there's yeah. a way. There's a big difference. Yeah. Wealthy people could really do. They have different access to the world, literally to anything, anything you could fucking think of. That literally, yeah, seriously, for real. they have access to. When you start talking about billions and shit, they're in a different realm. They can literally get their hands on whatever the fuck they want. You could be rich and still not being able to do certain things. You still got to go ask permission of the bank for yeah. certain You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you still got to go do through certain people that can say yes or no. Some people that got pool. Yeah. So, ultimately, man, it's just, it's all a money game. It's all a number game, bro. But if you, like I said, bro, if you look at that video, you should, bro. 
It says a lot without saying nothing. Damn, that's like, crazy, bro. I, ne- I, ne- I never knew all that. Yeah, bro, that shit just bro. happened like this past week. Oh, you know okay. Okay, so yeah. this is like real yeah, recent. It's, it's recent. Damn, it's recent. I didn't know that. But yeah, man, if y'all would go to a Kanye and Drake concert, you let me, you, you let me know. I feel like they're friends. I feel like they aren't. Like, but, but they're bi- just making money off this. They're like, bro, let's just. It's not about them. Th- that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. this is this is a street issue. Damn. That's what I mean. This is a street issue, and these street niggas are like, yo, we need y'all to do this. Fuck your feelings. Damn. Like, this is for a bigger purpose, bro. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, hey, man, if they could free Larry Hoover, bro, after being sentenced to six life sentences, bro. Round of applause. Yeah. That, <laughs> that means you can literally get That's, away with anything. Nah, bro. But the thing is, he didn't really do much. No. He got six life sentences for being a, the leader of a gang and for some drugs. Some? Like, he didn't get hit. Yeah, like, it was, he yeah. was in a fucking kingpin. Oh, okay, okay. He just fucking sold some drugs, and he oh, was, like, okay. the leader of the gang. Oh, wow. So right. it's like, but he knew how to, like, he would organize certain things, and, like, I'm telling you, man, you become dangerous, bro, when you can start leading thousands of people, and they listen to you. Yeah. Because there's one thing to be like, oh, he's the leader of a gang, but nobody really fucking listens to this nigga. But when they listen to you, you could you can make something happen. You know what I'm saying? So, hey man, we'll see if they get it. We'll see if they we'll get s- it. We'll see if we. Yeah, that us. I mean, that would be crazy, bro. That's that's hey hard man. to do, man. That'll be history. Like I said, you if you, if, be he, history. if he gets away with that, that's fucking. You can get away with anything. Man. That's history, bro. That'll that be bro. history. But listen, man, something that someone that, that's trying to make some history, bro, is Elon Musk, man. A round of applause for this, man. Yo, this guy, you know bro. This, this guy's crazy, guy, man. Bro. He's always on the news. He's always nah. doing something. Nah, this is good, though. He said, listen, man. He said, I'm worth a lot of billions. Not millions, billions. He said, because some, some study supposedly said that with $6 billion, we could solve world hunger. Yeah, yeah, I heard about and that. He yeah, was, he did. Yeah, he, did, he was yeah. like, bro, if you could bring me the plan and it makes sense, I'll sell the stocks and give you six billion to end world hunger. And I think that what he's doing with that is calling bullshit. Yeah, I think he's saying, show me and I'll do it because I got the money for it. If you could really give me the plan and it really ends world hunger forever, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then let's do it. Yeah, but I think that's his way of calling bullshit and saying, look, man, this is why I'm trying to get to Mars. Because the resources on here over here are running low. Damn. You see what I'm saying? I think he's using it as a reverse psychology. Like, okay, I'll do it then. If that's what it takes. That's but cool. that's not all it takes. That's yeah, that's true. What, you what, know what, I'm if, saying? what like, if we're running out of supplies, guys? What if we're what if we're running low? You ever what seen if we Wally? already fucked up the ozone layer and there's yeah. no repairing it? You think Wally you know was saying? Wally was a joke? You seen that movie? Wally with the you remember that? Yeah, that's real, bro. Yeah. These movies be dropping hints. Yeah, this is not a game, bro. They don't <laughs> Fucking keep chopping down them fucking trees and fucking chopping down fucking rainforests and all this shit, bro. Like all the medicine that bro, fucking cures is like. All right. They they say that there was always twenty million people, around twenty million people in the Amazon, at some point, and there's nobody left. And there's nobody left. Why do you think that is? That's because of disease and like a lot of things happen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and we're very egotistical as a country. Like we really think that like. Nothing can happen to us. And, bro, it's happened to everybody. It happened to the Romans. It happened, you know what I'm saying? It happened to the fucking Egyptians. Yeah. There was civilized civilizations before, like real civilizations that had pretty much the same shit we got. No cap. Yeah. So it's like, if they went down, why can't we? Now, we think that we've gotten to this point where it's like, oh, it, like we're, you we're know, good forever. Yeah. And it's not true, bro. Yeah. And that brings me to the next point where I wanted to ask you, like, do you think that that's like America is the Titanic? Do you think like honestly? Maybe. I feel like we we I feel like like people think that we're just like we're unstoppable, we're undefeatable, you know what I mean? We're invincible. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, you ever seen that movie Red Dawn when, uh, when people start landing on us and war starts to happen? That could happen any fucking minute now. Like it wouldn't be like that. They got technology. They got different things. They wouldn't need to drop soldiers now. Yeah, but but like the thing the thing is, I'm comparing it to the Titanic because the Titanic was the most luxurious, biggest, yeah. nicest, most expensive, and they said even God can't sink this ship. That's why I'm comparing it to the Titanic because that's how I feel like most Americans feel. 
Yeah. Like even God can't sink this country. We're the greatest country in the world. And we're we are great, bro. Like we're a lot better than a lot of other places. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like we're the Titanic or and we're heading towards this fucking iceberg that we're not gonna be able to avoid. Yeah. And when this country goes under, it's gonna be financially. Yeah, I think so too. We're gonna hit a, a financial iceberg and shit's gonna go bust. Shit's gonna fucking boom you know and people saying? are gonna go crazy and banks yeah. are gonna shut. You can't get money. It's gonna yeah, be like bro. the fucking movie fucking uh uh, the book of Eli. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Nah, People fucking bro, trading, yeah. trading, trading clothing, trading fucking rugs, and, and 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 it's not even about the money anymore. Like that's crazy. Yeah, bro. Like I that, feel like the, the Titanic. Like America's the Titanic, and we're about to hit a fucking iceberg, bro. And you better start getting ready to get on a boat. Yeah, and fucking <laughs> save, save your family and save yourself. Start paddling. And I got that from an interview uh, I watched with uh, Charleston White, and he was saying exactly that. He was like, yo, I think we're doomed. And I think you need to grab your family, your daughter, your brother, your son, your mother, your your buddy that you took the trip with and find a fucking boat and try to survive. <laughs> we're but it's there. facts. We're getting there. It, you know, it's going to happen. What's a year do you think that, like, maybe just as like an ed- educated guess, what year do you think? I don't think? think it'll take longer than 100 years. I don't think America's going to hit 300 years. Yeah, that's how I feel. Because America isn't 300 years old yet. I can't imagine how it's going to be in the next 50 years. Think about it, bro. Think like, about how like much everything has changed in the last 15. Yeah. But when I started working, the minimum wage was $5 and some change. Yeah. In less than fucking 20 years, in less than 15 years, it has gone up three times. Yeah. You know why that is? Inflation. Yep. Everything costs more. So they have to pay you more. And little by little, they make it seem like, yeah, bro, we're just, you know, we're paying people more. No, nigga, go to, go to the fucking grocery store and see how much milk is right now. See how much fucking... Cheese and chicken, chicken. is right, in, yeah. right now. Like bro, that everything crazy, went up, bro. I, everything I, went up. I bro. fucking ate some seafood the other day. That shit was expensive, bro. For My this, nigga. this amount, this amount. It was like literally, like literally, like a tiny bag. I I spent eighty bucks on for both bags. It was like one of those, like uh, what do you call that when you have the steam with the the potatoes, the the crabs, and all that mm-hmm. shit in the bag. Mm-hmm. I forgot what it's called, but that shit was expensive. And I remember going there last year. And it wasn't that expensive. Yeah, it, everything's gone up, man. Yeah, it's crazy. So that's just my that's just my thing. When I heard that, I was like, "Wow, bro, he has a big point," and I agree with it. Like, I feel like the America's America's the Titanic, and it's luxurious and it's great, but eventually we're gonna hit something. Yeah, and niggas aren't gonna be ready for it. They're gonna be scrambling. So get ready now, or pay the consequences later. And the way you get ready now is start making investments. That are gonna bring you back money. Yep. Fuck a liability, grab an asset. If you're thinking about buying a home, get a duplex. Yeah, instead of just a home. Yeah, they're around the same price. Yeah. You might be paying a little more, but you're technically not paying for shit because if you rent out the dupe, one of the fucking apartments, you could live in the other one for free. Yep. And you're living, <clears throat> excuse me, you're living for fucking free. Facts. You so know? it's like, come on, bro. Like, so that, let's start wisening up. Let's start making better decisions. And and if you're younger, man, just eat shit for the next ten fucking fifteen years. Let's just eat shit, bro, and work. And and let's bring our families up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's what it's gonna take. Yeah, leave something, man. You know what I'm saying? Leave something that's up and running for your family. You know what I mean? So that you can pass it down to them and they can run it. Yeah, and and teach them. Yeah. Like raise them to be the boss, and we're talking like it's you know easy I mean? and shit. That shit ain't easy. It's not easy at yeah, all, but like it's I'm possible. Not, yeah, it's possible. it all depends on how much you want it, how much time you want to put into it, and what you really want to do. Everybody's different. Like we were talking about earlier, like yeah. you want to do your music, bro, and I support you a thousand yeah. percent, nigga. Facts. Go for it. Like that's what you want to do, bro. Do You're it. good at it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You're gonna get better. Yeah, You've yeah. gotten better. You, you got to Yeah. So just go for it. Yeah. The same shit with with my real estate. Like that's what I want to do. That I don't care what nobody says. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever it is that you really want to do in life. Once you figure that out, like fuck everything else. Like, whatever anybody says, any doubt, anything, you want to do it, go for it. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and really make it happen. You know yeah, I mean? that's true. We just got to make it happen, bro. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Never stop. Don't stop, ever. Ever. Ever in Never your fucking stop. life, man. Yeah. Never stop. That song by the fucking Future is hard, bro. Yeah, f- yeah people need a fucking... Yo, well, listen, round of applause to yeah. Future. You listen to Future. I know it's a little random, but we're going to give him his flowers... Cause no, for real, Future's one of the one of like he's up there with Drake, bro. Yeah, like there's a reason why Drake collaborates and makes an album only with him every couple years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because Future is the most 
Bro, I, I would I wonder what that studio session's like. Like yeah. that shit has to be different. Creatively. Wow. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, damn, like different niggas, sounds and shit. It's gonna sound like a crazy nigga. Yeah, because a lot of this yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm telling you, like Jay yeah. said it all the time. Shout out to Jay. He used to be like, "Yo, bro, like if you know what I'm saying, if you outside the room, it's gonna sound like a nigga is fucking dumb in here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna sound like you just yelling, saying random shit. You're gonna sound dumb. Yeah. But when the finished product is finished, nigga, that shit's gonna be lit. When it's finished, <laughs> I'll tell you what, bro. That shit's gonna sound like, bro. Like fucking angels singing, you know what I mean? Because yo, yo the guy that found his sound fucking died. Like he who, found, who? Uh, I don't know his name, but his uh, future's producer. Oh, future, the future. one that found his sound, the way that perfected his sound, mm-hmm. he died. Yeah, that's crazy. That's sad, man. That, that's Where's what Jay, of him? Yeah, Jay told. That's me. why I understood when Drake was like, "Yo, if forty dies, I'm gonna stop making music." Cause think about it, like you've been with the same producer for forever, bro. He's literally made every piece of work you've ever done. And then one day he just dies, bro. Like, yeah, nigga, I don't even want to make music with the next nigga. I've been doing it with this man for 15 years, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, why am I, I ain't going to get the same trust. It's like, it's like, like going to the barber. Like they, have a, they have, nigga, you have a relationship after 15 years of making music with somebody. Yeah. You, like, it gets to the point where you both know what you're going to do. And, and it's when, just automatic. Yeah. You go in there, the produ- the engineer knows what you want, the the voice level that you want, yeah. the auto tune level that you want. Exactly. Set it up just right. You go in there, he knows what you're about to do. You know what he's about to do, bro. And you just fucking kill that shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's and, a chemistry. And that's hard. It's, it's, it's a, a chemistry. chemistry. Yeah. yeah. And it's hard to build it and it's hard to keep it. But once you find it, it's even harder to replace it, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like Metro Boom in the future. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, they're they pretty Or Zaytoven and Gucci. Exactly. Zaytoven said it. He's like, yo, Gucci's my guy. Yeah. Nothing against Jeezy, but when Gucci hit me up, he's like, I don't care if Gucci hits me up at three in the morning. Talking about, nigga, I need a beat to diss whoever. He's like, that's my boy. I'm going to get up at three in the morning and make that beat for him. Yeah, and that's a real friend. I was like, "Yo, salute to Zaytoven. That's a real nigga." Yeah, like he's like, "Yo, he called me at three a.m. Like, nah, I need to diss this nigga now." <laughs> <laughs> Facts, bro. Like, fuck these niggas, bro. Yo, when he made that song about Jeezy, bro. Truth. Yeah, that shit go hard, and that was probably Don't one of the hardest. Your hard... partner, up, nigga, yeah, but he can't yeah, say yeah, shit. Yeah, that was the most bro. disrespectful fucking verse I've ever fucking heard in a while, and I was like, "Oh shit." Nah, he said it in that song. He's, he's like, talking about the same Jeezy. shit that got big and two." Tupac killed. Yeah. And he started talking about He's his fact. girl. It's facts. That he, you know, he was fucking. Yeah. yeah. He, she was fucking puff. Oh, he was falling in love with him. I think it was like Keisha Cole or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, he got his ass. Yes. <laughs> got his ass for real, bro. Nah, but listen, guys. Shout out to them, man. Round of applause yeah. one more time to Zaytoven Gucci. Yeah. And just for, for people that have been in the studio and you built that relationship with your engineer, your producer, and you just know what it is, man. It's hard. I'm telling you, man, it's hard to come by. But if you find it, hold on to it, bro. You might get on, on each other's nerves. You might, you know what I'm saying? But if the magic is right. If the magic's right. The magic then. is right. Yeah, Put up with real. that headache to be able to be like, yo, we're like, we made this fucking classic masterpiece, bro. That should go you know hard I mean? to like, this day. Like, to this day. Like, nah, that's bro. timeless music. Yeah, bro. We've made some music I listen to now, bro. And I'm like, yo, this shit aged good. Yeah, like the whole little chemistry album or uh, ambi- uh, ambiance, yeah, ambiance, yeah, bro. Ambience. Like we sleep on that shit, yeah. Nigga. That shit like I be hard. listening to them shits. And I'll be like, yo, like, like we got it, man. Like that yeah. shit's hard, that bro. That shit does go hard. That shit's crazy. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fucking fact. Nah, but hey, man, we I'm about to start shooting a video pretty soon. So Round of applause, let y'all man, know bro. when you want to check it out. You know, I'll Yo, let you know when dog, it drops. He's, that's just gonna be a movie, bro. Yeah, I can't yeah, wait. I'm gonna show yeah, up, bro. You know I might just I mean? show blaze it up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm Looking saying? smooth on yeah, a bitch. Well, fuck, man. You know, we, we out here. Fuck it. We out here. So it's gonna be a good time. Um, I'm gonna keep on making this music and shit. You know, it's fun. Shout yeah, out to bro. the people listening. Yo, guys, let this nigga know. I've been telling this nigga for fucking years. I'm like, yo, you fucking pitbull number two. You yeah. sing to the hoes yeah, If you sing to the fucking hoes And you just put on a nice suit And you put on your little fucking uh, and Your little, little fucking your little uh, overalls Yeah <laughs> Nah for real I swear bro Nah no, that yeah. ass bro You're marketable bro hey, I've been man. telling you Look at that fucking face guy. Look at that Matter of fact that. round of applause hey. It looks like he was fucking Made in a computer. Look like Squidward. That was sculpted. Even in every side. You ever, you ever seen? You ever seen Squidward? The handsome Squidward. Oh yeah. Yeah, I look just like my him. dog. Look like he got. He bashed his head into a fucking wall and just came out pretty. Yeah. 
I swear, bro. Fuck, man. But the uh, marathon continues. Yeah, the marathon continues, guys. Yeah. Once again, bro, listen, please stay on the lookout for this Patreon drop because yeah. we're going to need all the support that we could get. Every single last one of you that could go over there and once we drop and, you know what I'm saying, drop a little $5 a month yeah. to watch us, you know what I'm saying, really, really talk about some shit, turn up, do some shit, bro. Turn up. We, we about to drop... We about to drop some episodes over yeah. there on Patreon, man. This, this is, is gonna we, be lit. This man. is what we this is what we doing, guys. Yeah, this is what, what we, we doing. Yeah, man. If you wanna get turned up with us again, you know what I mean? That's where we going to. That's yeah. where the party's at. Yeah, so, if you wanna hear real opinions, because I'm we're gonna keep it a buck, man. YouTube, bro, YouTube be tripping sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So we can't talk about everything. We can't really give our opinions all the time. And you know, it, it just it hinders the real conversations. We're in a different so, time now. Yeah. So now if you wanna see us, you know. Talk about the real shit, no holes bar. Hey, Patreon is the fucking way, all right? Patreon is the what, motherfucking way, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Tell somebody you love them. Get yourself a little merch. And look, man, we'll catch you on the next one, all right? Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace, Peace and love. Peace and love.